If you want to turn this into something a little bit more organic, then this is the tutorial for you. So if you want to turn that into that, add some color and add some grout, then watch on. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, make some damage and then we're going to um, add some variation into it. So let's uh, start that off. So I've got a, a fill layer here uh, on a reasonably high res plane. And what we're going to do is add a tile generator to that. So let's add a fill layer underneath here first. So let's right click on the layer and add fill. And to this fill, I'm just going to turn off everything uh, but height to start with. And we'll type in tile generator under the textures. That's this uh, option here. And I'll drag and drop that into the height channel. And you get the tile generator. So it starts off as a brick, and I don't want it to be that. So I'd want that to go to be a square. And then I want to add a little bit of. Uh, yeah a little gap between these two so we're going to pattern transformation and on scale I'm going to reduce this down to say 0.95 and that will put me a gap in that I can uh, start to work on okay so what we want to do is chip away at the edge of these tiles and we can use a blur slope for that that's a filter so if you select your layer, right click and add a filter. And if you go into the filters, uh, we'll just type in blur. We've got a couple of blur options, uh, but blur slope is the one we want. And I'm going to drag and drop that, uh, drag and drop that into the filter. And you can see it immediately eats away at the edge of our tiles. Now it's a, a little bit over the top at the moment, so we can adjust that. So there's an intensity which kind of makes it worse uh, unless I turn it down a little bit. Uh, there's also the intensity uh, divider which is kind of an intensifier. So if I put that down to 1 or up to 100 yeah, you'll get a slightly different effect. And that's uh, pretty much that. Um, I'm still yeah I still think it's a little bit too intense so I might have to just turn this down by typing in a number that's a bit better okay so the quality will really take the quality down uh, but it doesn't really start getting um, much less quality until you get right down to low levels uh, but I, I have a tendency to leave it at top um, we can also uh, put a custom noise into it. So if I go back to the textures folder and pick a, uh, a texture out, so say this black and white spots, I can drag and drop that into the image inputs and change the source type to custom noise. And that will again change and affect how it, uh, how it behaves. Okay. So you might notice that uh, you can actually see my displacement and that's because I've got displacement turned on. So in the shader options under this little pyramid here which is the displacement and tessellation settings uh, I've got a small value in my height and I've got a high value in my subdivision count. And that just gives you that, uh, that effect then. Uh, the more you turn down your subdivision count the kind of worse it's going to get because there's not enough geometry underneath to support the detail. So yeah, you can go somewhere in the middle perhaps and still get a nice effect. Okay, so um, that's pretty much that, except to say that uh, I want to drive color and um, yeah, I, I want to drive color off this. I want to uh, be able to put one material in the, uh, the grooves and one material on the tile. So what I'm going to do is just to this is add a, uh, or an rather, anchor point. And I'll just call this height layer. 
and then I'm going to create a new fill layer above it and we'll go to our materials and I want this concrete here uh, of course it goes across everything which is absolutely not what I want so I'm going to add a black mask and to the black mask I'll add a black uh, a black fill layer a fill layer and then I'll click on the slot go to anchor points and pick my anchor just need to make sure that that's on the height channel and then we'll get that uh, concrete material just going on the tiles now if I duplicate this layer where's duplicate there it is and then invert this mask you'll see that that material also goes in the grooves so we can change this out for another material to go into the grooves and I wonder if I have uh, a dirt no or a ground what's this one okay, ground gravel yeah I suppose for demonstration purposes there we go so now we've got a different texture within the uh, within the grooves not the greatest choice I've ever made so let's get rid of that and just put something in there that's really really uh, noticeable there we go okay so there we go we've eaten away at the edge of our tiles we've put two different materials in and uh, we're away so that's using a blur slope to chip away at the edges of a texture um, I hope you found that useful uh, and I'll talk to you soon